how to tile an image. Uh, I've got an image here um, which I'm going to flatten uh, and then I'm going to use the black and white adjustment curves to kind of just get it to sort of level that I like it. That's good. And I'll flatten it again. And I'm going to change the mode to grayscale and then the mode to bitmap. And this is the setting I'm going to use. I'm going to use half tone screen, 300 dpi, click OK. And I'll just use that, it doesn't really matter. You can look at these if you want, but it um, depends on. It's a trial and error thing. So I'm just using these kind of box standard ones to create a bitmap. Uh, and change the image size. So at the moment it's that's kind of big enough. It's fine. I want it. I wanted it to be big enough to be um, on the uh, print big. So I click OK and I'll go file save as so I don't overwrite my layered version and call it. Um, just save it here and call it a tiff. OK to the messages and close Photoshop. In InDesign, I'm going to create a new document and I change my preferences to inches here because I'm going to make the size of the document the size of an 8x4 um, board. So I'm going to uh, scale it massively. So that is 32 inches that way and um, 64 that way. Don't want facing pages, click OK. So I'm going to go file, place, um, where you gone? and grab that image on the desktop. If you drop it in, it should drop it in at the right scale. So I'm just going to move that around until I get it where I want it. I'm just going to chuck it in the middle. Okay, and then change the document size to something a bit smaller, so I don't need all of that height. So what I'll do is I'll make it um, 48. That's what happens to that. That seems okay to me. So I'll just save that. So I'll save that on there as well. It's an InDesign document. Export it as a PDF. Um, Adobe PDF print. High quality print is fine. So it should make the PDF. So hopefully that will automatically open in Acrobat. And you go File, Print. And click on this post a bit. Click on Tile, only large pages. And there you can see the image. Um, and you can make the scale bigger. So let's do, say, 200. So what happens? Then you get a much, much bigger image. These are all, these squares here are all A4 pages. Um, you can try doing it that way, making it say 150. See what happens with that. So that will make it quite big there. So you get these kind of black, blue blanks. And let's try it just slightly smaller. So use less paper. Okay, so that seems like a good, good size like that. So I'm going to print that. And that should print fine. I'm just I was just scrolling through there just to get the printers coming up, and you'll see it go through there. And if it goes through at this sort of rate, as you as you probably know, it prints. Um, it should print fine. So what I then did was um, actually what I did wrong there is when I went to print, what I should have done is fed it to the bypass tray and use bypass tray color. So you have to kind of set the machine up. I've done this with quite a few of you, set the machine up to um, make sure the, the machine takes color straight away or do it some other way if you know a better way to do it. Press print and then press print and it, it goes off. 